What's up YouTube? It's Clash Corey and today I'm gonna show you guys a crazy, crazy deck that I've been having so much fun with. Seriously, I think the most fun I've ever had in Clash Mini has been playing this deck. I call it the Rage Deck because not only is it gonna rage up your troops, it's gonna make the opponent rage quit because of how annoying and frustrating this deck is to deal with. Here's how it works. It's a simple but crazy effective idea. First of all, this deck revolves around the Lumberjack. He is the star and the cog that pushes this machine and makes those wheels turn. Now, you do kind of need that three-star Lumberjack because this upgrade is crazy important, but even without it, it will still work. However, the third ability upgrade allows you to rage up all your important ranged troops at the start of the battle. Now your goal is to rage up the Archer Queen, the Electro Wizard, and the Archer. You do that and not only are you decimating everybody, but also your Electro Wizard is supering before the enemy's Electro Wizard always, as well as your Archer Queen before the enemy Archer Queen, if they have that. And seriously, you will destroy your opponents like that. I mean, <laughs> they will get wiped out so quick. Also, by the way, the Archer Queen Super does rage up nearby ally units and that actually stacks with the Lumberjack Rage. So basically, those four units are crazy important. Lumberjack, Archer Queen, Archer, and Electro Wizard. You want to have those. For the other two units, it's kind of not that critical. I have the Miner and the Bowler. The Bowler seems to me just way too important if you want to win in Electro Valley. If you want to give up Electro Valley, fine, you don't need Bowler. But if you face someone who's spamming, upgrading their Electro Wizard, and they're in Electro Valley, and you don't have Bowler, and they do, they're, you're just gonna lose, honestly. That's just kind of the meta in Electro Valley right now. So seriously, that's like the only reason the Bowler's in this deck, otherwise, it can be almost any other two or three cost unit. Now the other unit I have is Miner just because he's a really flexible unit and he's very good, but I don't usually upgrade him that much. For any of these two units, Bull or Miner, you can replace them with Skeleton Guard, Knight, Giant Skeleton, Spear Goblin. Those are the main units I would use. Actually, you could probably do Ice Wizard as well, but there's one really important thing to keep in mind with this deck and the Lumberjack, and that's your positioning of your units. The Lumberjack will always throw his Rage Potion on the closest ally. That's why I tend to not have many other melee frontline troops, or if you do, try to place them as far away as possible. Put the Lumberjack on one side of the map and your Knight or Giant Skeleton on the other side. That way the Lumberjack is always raging up your back line important units like the Archer, Electro Wizard, and the Archer Queen. Oh, and honestly, Dark Goblin is probably a viable option in this deck too. I just kind of don't really like him personally. All right, let's get into some live matches so I can really explain and break down how you play this deck round by round and versus different heroes. All right, here we go. Mirror match versus Archer Queen. All right, let's see how this goes. Here's our bowler. We're gonna need that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give that to my Archer Queen. Okay, bowler on the electro tile. All right, we both bowlered the Archer Queen, but I have Lumberjack compared to his Archer. That should be the difference here. Okay, it was. Exactly, Lumberjack does more damage than Archer. Lumberjack has a super fast attack speed, actually. Okay, uh, honestly, I might win this. If I do, it would be because of the tile. I actually don't think he even has anything to take advantage of that tile. I'm not gonna go for the Lumberjack upgrade in this round. Mm. Oh, I was gonna say, he could do a frontline E-Wiz. I didn't think he would, be, he would do that, but he must have not rolled Giant Skeleton. Uh, or maybe he just has mini pack instead of giant skeleton. I'm not sure, but either way, we got both before he did. Woo! All right, so we got a good start here. Let's see if we can. Honestly, you want that lumberjack upgrade by the third round if you can. Okay, you guys want to see something weird? I actually don't want to do it though. I'll just tell you about it in a moment. Okay, hold on. Let me roll here. It's like this, like this. So if you put this lumberjack on the electro valley tile, the electro tile. And you have the Clash ability. Oh, I'm stupid. I, honestly, dude, my miner should have been in the back line. What am I doing? Okay, learn from my mistakes, kids. Lumberjack always supers the closest enemy or closest ally. So that caused me to lose that. But I was trying to say, there's a bug right now. If you have the Clash ability with Lumberjack, right, he, he uses a super right away, right? But it takes him no energy to do that in that scenario. But if you're on that 
Electro Tile, it actually uses up all that energy. And he ends up with only one extra energy instead of four, which is a huge int. Okay, let's not make the same mistake. All right, Miner in the corner, get away, man. Go away. All right, here we go. Boom, we stunned a few things. Here goes that. Okay, obviously his E was on first because he had a better tile than I did, but regardless, our Archer Queen went off first and we had more damage, got the win. By the way, let me know what Clash mini video you guys want most next. And hey, if you're enjoying this, you know, consider subscribing. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Mirror match versus Archer Queen. All right, all right, all right. Let's roll. Okay, we got Lumberjack Bowler. That's our preferred start. Honestly, it's not a perfect positioning for this first round. Oh, come on. All right, at least both of our bowlers are hitting two things. So that's fair, okay? Um... Okay, you know what? That might have been a level difference there. Both oh, holding my breath. <sighs> Only difference between level 9 and 10, Archer Queen is the boast. If the Archer Queen gets a kill, it's honestly pretty random. I feel like a lot of kills get stolen. I kind of don't actually want Bowler in this matchup. But we're going like this. So, Rage Miner just goes... He actually travels faster across the map. And it also affects his first attack. Now, he just bowlered my Archer Queen, which probably means I lose. I didn't have enough damage in the opening rounds now. I mean, it just killed everything. She's obviously the most important unit. She gets stunned. It's like game over, unquestionably. All right, E-Wiz time. Cell, minor, not that important. Blech. Archer upgrade. <laughs> okay, Lumberjack to the top because Giant Skeleton could explode on my units. I want to have him as far away as possible. His bowler missed. My bowler hit his E-Wiz, that's huge. Okay, my Lumberjack actually walked a tile to the left, which means my Arch Queen didn't get raged a second time, but it's fine because of the first rage, our E was cast first, our Archer popped off, our Archer Queen supered first. All great stuff. Okay, here we go. We're switching up our positioning, just being random a little bit. E was upgrade, please, and thank you. Perfect. I have Miner in the back because um, I... I don't want Lumberjack to super the miner. He needs to be, he only does super as the closest unit. All right, so our bowlers equal value for the most part. My Archer Queen supers first. My e had to walk forward, so it actually supered at the same time. But because my Archer Queen supered first, we got the win. All right, here we are versus Countess. Uh, all right, bowler. Hey, my Hi. buddy bowler, to be honest. I want the Countess to super my bowler. That's why I have everything spread out like this. Okay. Is he gonna go for it? He didn't go for the bowler. Yikes. Wait, 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 wait. It's fine. <laughs> okay. The first round, uh, honestly, you usually lose with this deck. It's just like the worst round by far. You need a lot of units for this deck to be good. All right, Clash. Nice. Let's go like this. He's probably gonna Spear Goblin, isn't he? So we'll just, we'll just be like this. Okay, our bowler hits one thing. We're getting some rage going. We kind of need Miner, honestly, to distract his Countess. But, 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 2-0, not a bad start at all. Honestly, this is really good for this deck. Uh, pretty good positioning, maybe. Or we just got lucky, whatever. We take it. Regardless of what it was, we still take it. So, Miner, Electro Wizard. Let's go like this. I'm pushing my bowler over. Okay, fine. Miner in the corner. His Countess didn't go there though. But, but. Oh, they're so low. It's fine, it's fine. I feel like my position was not very good, honestly. Uh, you know what? It happens. Sometimes you guess wrong. He's probably going to mirror the bowler, I feel like. I actually want to mirror the archer. I want archer upgrade. Perfect. Here we go. This is what we're doing. Are you ready for this blitz that's about to happen? Although the bowler's gonna kill them all! Okay, they're all one health. But look at those E-Wiz! Oh! Ready? Nuke! Nuke City! Oh! Hey! Everything is decimated just like that. Well, if you enjoyed this, check out more amazing deck guides for Clash Mini right over there. I'm sure you'll also enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.